BMG in a stack. Have a good one, Mr. Mosley. Here you go, girl. Guess you finished. Hey, Lori, I could use another cup. Well, so okay. have counted here. You can just wait your time. Hey, kids, no fighting. Have a good one, guys. All right. Here you go, Delia. So you're head up today. What do you know that I don't? Marilyn starts first grade tomorrow. First grade? Already? Yeah, tell me about it. First opportunity. I'll be right there. You got a problem. You flirt with me. Excuse me, ma'am. I just got such a long way to go. And I had someone like you to pour my coffee. I could stay up all night. Oh, you think you're talking to me, but we don't need your kind around here. Well, as soon as I can get a goodbye kiss, I'll be on my way. I'll be back Thursday. I'll bring you a present. Mm, you're all I need. <laughs> hey, you stick that speed limit, Greg Phillips, you here? Who, me? But he didn't. Hey, sweetie. Hi. You a terrific kid for Aunt Sharon today? You were the darling as usual. Greg going to? Yeah. God, he's working. Yeah, I just wish he didn't have to go on this long haul. You should be grateful that he's got that good job. I, I mean, Greg's taking on a whole ton of responsibility with this ready-made family and all. Mommy? Yeah, honey. Can I wear green check shirt to school? Don't you want to wear a dress on your first day? Sure. Okay, I'll just talk to him. Um... Bye. Bye, Aunt Karen. Hey, Patches. You have a good day today? No, I had a terrible day today. <laughs> Here you go, sweetie. I know you before I see you. Hi, Lori. Hi, Fred. Where are you going, Dwight? Betty's going a little wee. Can I have a tuna sandwich for him? You bet. Cut four ways. Square the triangle. Square. Trash makes fun of my bike. I still got training wheels on. Well, you know what Greg says. You gotta practice and practice and practice. You could get hurt. Put in. Hood. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Check back. Half hour. You stay inside the park. Cash merrily you both. What goes to make you? Go run the strike? My dad's going to take him out Saturday. I'll race you. Look at that. 
Look at her. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I hate on Cash wants the ball. Oh, come on. He's your friend. Hey, you want me to help you fix your bike? Hey, doll. Hey, honey, why don't you go over to Brandy's and play with her? She still takes naps. I'm going up to Aunt Sharon. Check back. Half hour, I know. Okay. Hello? Oh, hi, Sharon. Yeah, I've had a double shift twice this week. Yeah, but well, I could use the overtime. Yeah, of course I pay him. Greg would rather haul a wide load to Tallahassee than balance the checkbook. I mean, I thought he dropped off the electric bill. I wrote out the check. You don't suppose the manager really shut it off, do you? Oh, it makes me furious. Listen, is Marley there? Okay, well, when she gets there, we tell her just to stay there, all right? I'm going to run down the road and pay this thing. Okay. Bye-bye. Next time after surgery, you know. Hey, have you seen Marilyn? No, not in a while. Okay, thanks. swimming about a half hour ago. Maybe she's with them. No, she never go without asking. Thanks. Oh. Well, try the Mayfield. That's where I'm going. Thelma, can't find Marilee. Have you seen her yet? No, but if you're looking for the Mayfield, Cheryl's not home. In fact, it's right to Middle East. Hello? Thank <laughs> you. 
going to find her. Calm down, honey, please. We're going to find her. It's going to be okay. It is. Come on, Lila. Come on, Lila. Come on, Lila. She just got out of sight. I better go call her, please. Did you see that dirty white van that was parked across the highway around lunchtime? I sure did. Park either. What's going on? Frank, I can't find Marilee. All right, how long has she been gone? Oh, about two hours, 45 minutes. And who saw her last? I don't know, I guess I did, but I've looked everywhere. Where is Greg? He's on a long haul. All right, now, Lori, listen to me, honey. I will bet you anything that Mary Lee's going to come walking up that road just any minute now. And when she does, if you don't tan her hide, I'm going to do it for you, you hear me? In the meantime... Call the police. I guess the police. Yeah, but I'm a state trooper, and this is sheriff's business. I'm going to put a call in the Bolton. Oh, God. Honey, listen to me. Not because there is anything to worry about, because there isn't, okay? okay. okay. I just need to be alerted, that's all. Right. We're going to take care of this. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, honey, she's going to show up in a minute. It's going to be just like honey. Listen, I want you guys working north to Cutter Creek over here, but we've got it covered on the south. They found that stream of combustion over there. See if he's telling all volunteers to show up here. All right, I want some barricades put up. I do not want to press in here until I'm ready to talk to him. What time is it? 5.45. All right, we're going to lose the light soon. See if you can get me a radio that works. Who's going to call tonight? Kramer. All right, tell him to come on in. See if you can get in touch with Jack Emery. He's good with family. And please get me an ETA on that chopper. I really need it. Great. No new word on the whereabouts of six-year-old Marilee Gerard, who disappeared from her home in a Mississippi mobile manner. As you can see, let's get an interview with the deputy. As you can see, there's excuse me, excuse me, Sarah. Can you tell us about any of the updates? Yeah, I'm Sarah, but sorry, I cannot talk to you right now. Of course, we check first and tell the very first thing. Now that suspicious man is parked out on the highway, turns out it's unloading furniture for the people who live there. Now that's it. Anything new, you'll get a suicide. Kramer, Kramer. All right, you're the one to cop duty tonight, so it's your case. That is, if we don't find it. Emory, you assist. Well, I bet it's a homicide. Well, I'm praying to God it's not. Of course, every minute that goes by, tell I'm not to give it up so we I'm going to go link up the search for it. Where are you going? I'm going with them. Why'd you give it to him, Rodney? Because it's his duty. And you know, I don't play favorites. You know, if it turns out to be a homicide, it'll be his first. I know, and you've done 20. But that's the way the deck got cut. Now, look, he's going to do fine. You'll help, and he'll do fine. Sir, here's your list. Olsen, are you finding anything? Oh, I reckon we've done about all we can here. All right, move east. Right. Move it east. Move it east. After nearly 10 hours, there's still no word on the whereabouts of six-year-old Marilee Gerard. She disappeared yesterday afternoon from Mr. View Mobile Manor, where she resides with her mother, Lori Bates Phillips, and stepfather, trucker, Greg Phillips. The largest search operation in Padraig County history is underway here, as you can see, with volunteers pouring in from all over West Arizona. This is Gloria Perez, reporting to you live from the Sheriff's Department Command Post. Honey, Lori, did you want some coffee? What? Coffee? Oh, no. Thanks. Okay. I am praying for her child. Thanks, Bill. Oh, okay, now. They're going to find out. It's all right. Okay. 
I've got to go and check on Martin. Thanks. Morning, Thelma. Morning, Frank. How you holding up? They're gonna be dragging the river in a couple of hours. This is the worst nightmare. Yeah. I feel so helpless sitting here. I can't stand sitting here one more minute. Marilyn may be needing me. Lord, please. I don't care what the police said. I'm gone. I know the police want me to stay here. I know you know why they want me to stay here because they want me to identify the body. Lord, Lord, settle down. Frank, I gotta go. I gotta go. Settle down. Now listen to me. Listen to me now. There are a lot of kids gone missing for a lot longer than this that have turned up safe and sound. Is that true? Is yes. that true? Little stories really? maybe, but they're fine. Now, you listen to me. The best thing you can do right now is to go back in that room, get in bed, and just pray. Can you pray? Okay. Sharon? We're going to find you. We're going to find you. Come on. Okay. Okay. Uh, Greg, maybe you better stay with her. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Hey, listen, now. Uh, how'd you get back here so quick? Pedal the metal all the way. I broke speed limit in three states. Yeah. Uh, you get some rest, too. I'll see you later.
pathology report. No surprises. The cause of death was asphyxiation with a soft ligature. Arm, probably. And it wouldn't have to be anybody that strong. Can you say it's a sex crime? Panties are ripped on one side, but nothing conclusive. All we have is a couple of dark hairs that could just as easily be off some guy's head. Oh, yeah, one other thing. There were half-moon bruises on both wrists. Just tell us what you can remember, Greg. Well, I was, uh, I was on the road to Nogales, and I, I called home from there. A diesel stop in Notice Ridge. Wish Dad and I hadn't gone. Laurie. Honey, you're supposed to be arrested. Uh, Darling, these are the uh, two detectives on Marilyn's case. They were just talking for a minute. Can you just tell me how she died? I mean, was she? No, she wasn't, Mrs. Phillips. Uh, she was strangled. Mm -hmm. Honey, do you remember Jack Henry? He was a couple years ahead of me at Bergen Time. Oh, yeah, and that's Lieutenant Kramer. Mm -hmm. We're really sorry about your loss, Laurie. Uh, but if you feel up to answer a couple of questions, it would help out a lot. Why don't you sit down right here? Uh, Ma'am, if it gets to, uh, will you just tell us? Uh... Now, your sister tells us that uh, Mary Lee went off on her bike at 2.15. She was supposed to check back a half an hour later, uh, 2.45. Uh, did she? No. So you went off to look for her, but uh, not till 3 o'clock. Right. Um, uh, I must have dozed off for a couple of minutes. Uh, 15 minutes, half an hour? No, no, no not that long. Um... And just such a blur. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. It's all right. Uh, look, uh, why don't we just do this another time? Yes. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch, man. She just needs a little time, you know? Service will be real short. You want to say goodbye to Marilee now, don't you, honey? No. I don't want to say goodbye to Marilee. Not so sudden. Sharon, could you get me my pills? That don't help the pain, honey. Just gonna postpone it. Thank you. Well, honey, I think that the killer might be here among the mourners. 
Don't let me talk about that now. Just don't do it. Well, I've known all my life. I know. I know. Come on, baby. We're going to go now. It's okay. know everybody that lives there. Any ideas you have, I'm ready to listen. You mean, do I think somebody of this for you kill this girl? Just trying to eliminate possibilities. How well you know the Phillipses? Well, they've been neighbors for uh, almost a year. Seems like a nice couple. He's uh, from Texas, I think. Anything else? Well, I don't go into gossip with that. Well, a lot of murder's been solved by listening to gossip. Yeah. Well, keep in touch. I'll do it. Oh, uh, one more thing. Greg Phillips was supposed to be halfway to Nogales when he heard the kid was missing. You know what time he got back here? I don't know. It must have been about 2. 2 a.m. Yeah. Must have drove like a bat out of hell, huh? Yeah. Yeah, P is in Paul, H-I-L-I-P-S as in Sam. Yeah, well, he spent the first 20 years of his life in Texas. Yeah, wait. Fighting's on that transient. None of them add up. That one says he was short and dark. This one says he was tall, barrel-chested. Well, some old guy lives nearby, Mr. Abbott, says he saw a cream-colored sedan parked out there about three years. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, you get vitals on the films? Yeah, both of them. She was Lori Bates. So all there. No evidence, no suspects, no motive, no witnesses. Child killer's a hell of a catch. You know that as well as I do. Not so much the smart as the born liars. What is this? Mark on the wrist there? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still waiting. Yeah, maybe she's wearing a bracelet and the guy tore it off. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got a date on that? That's right, G. Phillips. Yes, indeed. Well, why don't you just send that right on up here? <laughs> yeah, that'll be just fine. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Bingo. I just need a... A little more background here. Uh, see, y'all been married about a year now. Uh, first time for both? Me, yeah, but uh, Laura was married to Marilee's dad. Uh-huh. And uh, how did you all get together? Well, I was hauling some software from uh, San Jose to Phoenix, and uh, my friend Marilee said, you go in Arizona, my best girlfriend lives in Arizona. Y'all got to meet each other. You're going to love each other. Well, we did. You two made a new family with Mary Lee, huh? She was a great kid, I hear. Yeah. And we got along like, you know, like we've been together always. Uh, you must have loved her quite a lot. The funny thing is, though, uh, well, a couple of things just don't add up. What's that? Well, first time we talked, you told us that you dozed off between about 2.30 and 3. That's right. Uh, but your uh, neighbor, uh, Martin Valez, he, uh, he swears that he saw you take off in your pickup about the same time. Oh, my God, that's right. He's right. I, I just went down the road to um, Regency Manor to pay my electric bill. Ah, uh, well, how long did that take? 
I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Well, you should have told us that before, Laurie. Uh, I mean, I wish you told us the truth. Sorry, but what is this? Nobody's accusing her, Phillips. The hell you're not accusing her. Don't you try and stay calm. Now, don't, don't you tell me to stay calm. We just buried our little girl. We don't want to have to take you in. Oh, that's all right, Jack. That's all right. Maybe we should anyway, you know, because maybe he don't want his wife to hear what's coming next. What are you talking about? Well, for starters, Greg, we, uh, we got a copy of your Texas marriage license. Iris Darling to Greg Phillips. You want to look at that, honey? <laughs> honey, we got divorced three months later. And then there's that uh, drug conviction in San Antonio. What? Come on, folks, let's just put it all on the table, all right? We all still dealing down here? Is that what was going on? Well, are you crazy? Oh, is that why you didn't want the kid living with you? What are you, you only got about? custody of her six months before she died, Lori. What the hell were y'all doing down here up until then? I was looking for a job. Well, you don't expect me to believe I that. gave birth to Mary Lee. I took care of her for the first three and a half years of her life, and then her daddy and me separated. And I didn't have enough money to take care of her. I had to find a job to support her. She lived with her daddy for six months. Did you love her? She's my daughter. She's my little girl. Someone has taken her away from me. Some animal has killed her. Now you get out of my house and you find that person. You just find that person. I think it's time you all left now. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll be at headquarters 9 tomorrow morning. We're going to want a signed statement. You think he'll show up? Yeah, he'll show up. Yeah, you know, Harry, I wonder if we're not going too far too fast with the Phillips. Jack, you know eight out of ten of these killings are domestic-related. That's statistics you're talking about, not, not people. Oh, hell, I don't want it to be them any more than you do. But if it's not a sex crime, where are we? These two. Right now, neither one of them's got an alibi. The woman was the last person to see the kid alive. And she lied to us. Uh, that wasn't exactly... And we know they had money troubles. Well, if that's a crime, half the town's gonna be in jail. Jack, you saw that arrest record came in from Texas, right? Yes, I saw the arrest record. But possession is, is, is a whole other world from murder. Look, if he is using and dealing, God knows what he's capable of. Now, I don't know about the wife, but as far as I'm concerned, Greg Phillips is our guy. He's my suspect. Still at the police station. You don't have to sit there alone. I can come. No. Call me. No, I will. Honestly. Are you sure you need anything? I said I'm fine.
What are you doing alone? I thought Sharon was coming over. Oh, I had some stuff to do. I told her later. But they really put me through it down there. I'm telling you. I was ready to call a lawyer. They finally let me go. Hey, you want... Come on, Bear. Come on, Laura. Well, I was 17 years old. I was working all the way off the coast of Galveston. I was lonely as hell. Why didn't you tell me? Because it didn't mean anything. I, hell, we got, we got stoned one night. I, 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 you know, it's not marrying her. I told you everything. Why didn't you just tell me? Because it was such a dumb thing. That's... Well, I guess I figured if you know how dumb it was, you might change your mind about me. And what else that detective said? No, 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 that's a mistake. No, he got me confused with somebody else on that one. Are you dealing, Greg? If I was dealing, you think, you think I'd be driving around on retreads? You think we'd be over the limit on our credit card? I don't know. Come on, now, you're not thinking straight. Come on, you're feeling bad, but it's, look, it's going to get better. I'm you know, all of a sudden, you've got so many secrets. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? I just want you to answer yes or no. I want to be looking in your eyes when you say it. You sound just like the police. You you got any idea what they put me through? I mean, from those bastards, I can understand, but from you, I, I don't believe this. You think I killed your daughter, our daughter? Is that what you think? Huh? Let me see Greg Phillips report again. And his state. San Antonio, 1984. Coke conviction. Male Caucasian, age 25. Occupation, truck driver. Name, Gregory Phillips. Prince match? Haven't got him yet. Can't get a search warrant without him. He's going to bolt, Sheriff. I mean, he looked half ready to do it this morning. Look, it just doesn't smell right. I'm, I'm telling you, they're involved in it somehow. You know, maybe a, maybe a drug deal went out of control. The kid got caught in a crossfire. What do you think? I think it's a long shot. I mean, that husband is a question mark, I'll admit that. But I know Lori. I know all her folks. She comes from good people. police wouldn't say that Greg was dealing unless they had proof, would they? Oh, sure, and they're just trying to eliminate suspects. Yeah, that's it. See, sure, that's all. More coffee, Lori? Oh, no. Um, we better go. Frank's got to get to work. Lori, if you don't tell Frank, I will. What's this? Gas receipts. She brought them to my house. I'm not sure when she comes to you. I, um, found him in Greg's vest. I'm acting crazy, don't I? No. You mind if I look at him? It's just that he got home so quick. You know that I did? Didn't I just have him? Yeah, I remember. And see, there is no receipt for gas anywhere near Notre's Ridge. How could he get that far without filling up? What are you thinking he got back so quick because he hadn't gotten all that far to begin with? I don't know what I think. I'm just... I trust Greg. I love him. You better give these to the police. No, they want to make an ass for him. Hurt my pills. I left them at home. Come on. Lori. Frank. Don't tell Greg I can't care, okay? Okay, I won't. Yeah.
I'm sorry I lost it today, though. We shouldn't be fighting, right? Search warrant. What the hell do you think you're going to find? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have to look what I... What's going on? Oh, morning, Laurie. Uh, hey, Olson, you take the bedroom. The rest of you fellas just look around the living room. Hey, what the hell? Hey, no, don't get into that. Those are just family things. Don't touch those! Call Fred Lake's office. Ernie's brother. Don't touch a damn thing. Laurie, come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're out of here. Come on. Hey, you're calling. I got a call, lawyer. Well, sure. What's going on? He's just a mess. I'm going to get the call. Hey! Hey, get out of there! Where the hell are you going? Hey! What the hell are you doing? Get out of the way, Phyllis. We're on Bernardi's prints. They're all over that camp. She wrote it every week. Take your distance, I'm telling you. I think I did it, Lord. They think I killed that little girl. I never heard that little girl. I love her just like you did. Here you go. Hey, that is my stuff! Back off, Phyllis. I'm on it. Get out, go. Get out. Get out. You're under arrest, Greg. And you have the right to remain silent. You give up the right to remain silent. Come on, you can say can and will be used against you in the court of law. What are you looking at? You cannot afford one. The attorney will provide you with that charge. You're in question. What's your name? Come out of here. Tell him I'll tell her. 
Okay. They let me go. It was another guy in Texas named Phillips. <laughs> what? Donna, what? What's going on? <laughs> oh, my sweet girl. Baby, <laughs> you can't leave me. Oh, there it I know it's hell right now, but. You can't go. I love you so much. Don't ever think about leaving me. I just feel like I might as well be dead. I just feel like I'm out of life anyway. Greg, no! Yes! Yes! Listen, we got a family. We got each other. And the, the grace to get through this, it's going to come from somewhere. Listen to me, baby. I promise you, we are going to get through this. I promise you. Darling. Oh, darling. Hey, you trying to tell me something about my cookie? I forgot to go. And I know yours is. Oh, yes, she would. I How long have you been up? I don't know. Greg, mm. you know what time Tom Gardner gets home from her? Earlier than me. This car is always there when I get in. Why? I don't know. You remember the police said that Marilyn must have known the person who killed her? He must be out there somewhere. Just walking around Perkins like no ordinary person. Nobody suspects him. Mm. I'll give you some coffee. Hi, Brandy, honey. Okay, these are the names of everybody in the park. And then here it says what they were doing at the time. Marilyn, you know, at the time of the crime. And um, here's if they have a car, you know, what make it is, what model. <laughs> there I am. And Cheryl. Kids, too. I'll do it to everybody. Uh, and then on this page, I'm writing down everything that is in the paper about the crime. You know, clues, witnesses. Well, the police have already covered all this crime. Right, don't you see? It's, the murderer has to be somebody who's inside the park. I know my daughter. She would never go outside that gate, not without asking. So either it had to be someone who came from outside in and got her, but nobody saw anybody in it, or else the murderer lives in the park already. Lori, I know how you feel. No, I, I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think anybody that this hasn't happened to could possibly know how it feels. What do you want me to do? Oh, you know, 
I was thinking maybe we could work together. You know, you could ask around, I could ask around, then whatever we find, we could just add to the list. You know, I mean, so what if somebody came in from outside a visitor? I work can't minute. interfere with police investigation. Frank, can we just be our secret? I'll see what I can do. I can't promise you, and I can't promise Thank anything. You. I'll just... Thank you, Frank, for being such a good friend. Yeah. Secret, okay. Oh, you bet. Listen, listen, I can get in a lot of trouble here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. that over half the children kidnapped in this country are taken by someone they know? Hey, honey, could you hand me that forensics book over there? Please. Oh. Darling, don't do this to yourself. Hey, what do you think you're going to accomplish? The, the, the police have been through this stuff over and over again. That's all I've got. It's the only reason I can get out of bed in the morning and do another day, so I just need to do it and let me do it, okay? Fine. Just let me do it. Whatever you want. Bob called today. I was, uh, was thinking maybe you could go back to work. Sugar? Milk. Haven't given up on you and Greg, Lori. You really were lousy parents, you know. Call yourself a mother. Yeah, but you know what they're saying about you? All over Arizona. They're saying you want to commit a murder and not get caught? Just do it in Patrick County. Oh. Oh, that's right. You think you can do better than the police? That's right. I heard that. What do you mean? Launched your own little murder investigation, haven't you? Don't think I don't know what you're up to, Lori. I'm trying to take all the attention off you and Greg, put the heat on somebody else. That's what you're after. But let me tell you something, Lori. It's not going to take. Hell, I could haul you in right now for interfering with a homicide investigation. Hey, Michelle, good day now. Laura, sausage and eggs up. Hey, Laura, where are you going? You told the police. That was just between Laurie, us. Laura, calm me. down. I thought you were on my side. I am. I didn't lie. Everybody here knows what you're up to. Yeah, well, somebody told the police. Oh, I put myself on the line for you and this and the thanks I get for it. Lori! Lori! All you had to do is when Kramer showed up, tell him you didn't know what he was talking about. Hey! What's going on? Go get the truck. Lori, get the truck. Go. Look. Why is she mad? in here. Now, what the hell was that all about? Somebody told the police what I've been doing. Kramer came into the diner today. Wait a minute. How did Frank know it was Kramer? What? I didn't say Kramer came into the diner. I said the police. Lord, I don't know what the hell you're talking about here, but you, you, you can't go around beating on people like this. 
Come on. Lie down or something. Greg. Look. Hmm? Here in the paper? The day it happened, it says someone saw a car near the place where they found your body. A cream-colored car. Don't have to tie the county. Cream-colored cars. What are you staring at, Randy Campbell? Do you like the look of her longer? show goes fast, doesn't it? I heard you took over the case. Yeah, the sheriff likes to switch everybody around every couple of months. I told him I wanted to stay on this one. Thought I'd come by and pay my respects. It's been the three-month anniversary and all. You sure you're not following me? You were never a suspect, Laurie. Greg either. You know what I think? The man who killed Merrill is convinced of you. He either lives there or he works nearby. Lori, everybody with the slightest connection to that park was checked out and cleared. Right, that's when Kramer was in charge. That's when everybody thought Greg did it. But if you're thinking maybe some of those statements read different now. Things get overlooked. There was a report that said someone saw a cream-colored car near the scene. Frank Mayfield has a cream-colored car. Hey, Olsen. You're missing a couple of statements from the Marilee Gerard case. They're all there. Frank Mayfield. He's taking his kid to Little League. That's it. Hey, 
guys, guys. Hey, Cat, Randy. Wonder if you could do me a favor? I've got a whole bunch of these new ones, and I was wondering if maybe you could take it over to Regency Manor for me, put them up. Okay, sure. Right. Now take down the old ones and put them up on mailboxes and trees and stuff okay. like that. Hey, new bike? Second hand, rebuilt. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Wait, wait, what is that? What? That's pink. Oh, uh, it's just for me. What is it? Where'd you get it? I don't know. Where'd you get it? Don't get ballistic, okay? Just think, think. Well, my dad's too kid, I guess, or Dwight gave it to me. He found it somewhere. Dwight? Dwight Mayfield? Did Dwight Mayfield find it in his yard? I don't know. It was a long time ago. On it. Cass, wait, wait, wait. Cass! Cass! She's crazy. Let's get out. Yeah, she's really up here. Well, it's oversized. Could be from a little kid's bike. And the original color might have been pink. Might have. Mary Lee? We don't know. Uh, Cash Gardner says his son Dwight found it. Somewhere around here, as a matter of fact. Well, maybe. Didn't say anything to me. I thought uh, Mary Lee's bike was parted out, left at the crime scene. It was. How'd this end up here? I mean, if it is hers. A lot of pink bikes. Well, we'll have to track and see if we can match it up. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Oh, you bet. I, uh... I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. These wing nuts are a perfect match. Which means the killer was in the park when he took the bike apart. Which means the kid was abducted from her own front yard. And probably went willingly because it was somebody she knew and trusted. Listen to the FBI profile. Male, 30 to 40, loner, limited education, but functions at a high level. Cunning, manipulative, takes risks, doesn't look dangerous, and interest in the military. What do you feel? Talk to the sheriff. Hi. Hi, Laura. You're right on time. This is for Mary Lee's bike. It's a real break for us, Laura. Our first serious lead in months. So you can arrest him now, right? Frank Mayfield. Whoa, now how did his name get into this? There's no way we can tie this wing nut to Frank Mayfield, Laura. And even if we could, it's not near enough. What more do you need? Some solid physical evidence for starters. And an alibi we can poke holes in. Listen, you have a wing nut. It was from Marilee's bicycle that was found in his front yard. His whereabouts at the time of the crime are unaccounted for. And he has a cream color car that matches the one that was seen in front of the crime site. What more do you need? Are you waiting for it to happen again? Sunday. I know. Oh, wow, that's a really pretty doll. You get that for an early Christmas present? Just a present. From your grandma? Frank. Brandy, you better get going, honey. Bye. Bye. Hi. Your house looks beautiful. Thanks. Valerie, you know what, I, I can't really talk right now because Cheryl's going to do my hair. So. I think you should be careful letting Frank and Brandy spend so much I time together. I know that you called the cops on Frank. Don't you think it's a little odd, him spending so much money on expensive gifts for her? Frank? <sighs> Come on, Lori. He and Cheryl don't have a little girl, and so they treat Brandy special. He so spends what? too much time with her. Now, you listen to me. Frank Mayfield is one of the sweetest guys alive, and I just think talking like you do is way out of line. Hillary, you've got to listen to me. No, you know what's wrong with you? You feel like it's all your fault what happened to Mary Lee, even though it isn't. You feel guilty, and you can't handle it, so you're just trying to dump it on somebody else. Well, I don't want to hear about it anymore, and neither does anybody else.
guys look pretty happy. Blasting for Christmas vacation. Brandy sick? No. Just wait. Grace can give her a ride. Wait a minute, what'd you say? Grace can give her a ride. Is your mother now? Phillips, you better get over here right now. Frank Mayfield's gone off in his car with Brandy Gardner. She's five years old. Her mother's not home. So all the other kids take the school bus. I don't know where he's taking her. Okay. Green colored Dodge, license Tom Ocean Frank, 593, Roger. All right, Sorry. County 4, we got your cream colored Dodge, we're in pursuit. You have any idea where he's going? I know exactly. going? It's going good, Mayfield. Happy holidays. Good morning, Lori. He was going to hurt that little girl. Jack, that man killed my daughter. Let me tell you the problem. Cases like Marilee's are almost impossible to prove. The only thing we got going for us is, is, is that we know the kind of guy who does it. Now, he got away with it once, so he figures he can't get caught. He's going to do it again. And when he does, we're going to get him. You're saying that's the only time you can catch him when he's actually doing something? When he's molesting or killing a child? It works out that way most times. It's crazy. People here think I'm having a nervous breakdown. That little girl needs protection. He is going to hurt her.
and take a look at. You don't have to stay. I can see it from here, Bella. But I hope it comes down. Come on. It's the prettiest tree you've ever seen. Please? One look. But I'm not staying. Come on, come on. Look, there it is. Okay, so, tell me, which side you cut down? Well, we have one of those big electric trees. You know those ones that look so easy? Oh, no, it wasn't. I was working so hard, I got blisters all over my hands. And then you cut it down, and the tree's about to fall down, and you have to jump out of the way. Why, sure. Next year, you Hey, you made it. Yeah, that's for a few minutes, huh? Mm-hmm. Greg, can you help me with the table for the presents? Hey. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Be careful, it's hot. Come on. Mr. Hastings, I can go skiing with him, but you gotta go talk to him, right? All right. Christmas? I haven't seen much of you lately. Get away from me. What's the matter, Lori? You're a killer. And you're a fool. You can get caught. One day you see you're gonna get caught. Ah, come on. I'll get to somebody. It's all right, I'm, I'm okay. Are you crazy? Are you nuts? After all he has done for you. If you care about your children, get them away from this man. What's happened to you? I'm sorry for. We all are. You're the one I feel sorry for, Cheryl. You've done something horrible to your mind. No, 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 it's made you sick. Yeah, I'm not the sick one. I'm not the one who's sick. Right, it's made you tell ugly lies about kids. Right, you really love to break. Enough everybody. You get some help. help. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know. I saw your mom leave for work already. Yeah, well, you got big eyes. My mom's gone. I take care of my sister. Stay away from me. Cash, hey, 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 Cash. Look, we used to be friends, right? Listen, just tell me. Is your sister at the Mayfield? Is she in the Mayfield? Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here.
Is she here? Are you her mother? No. Yes. Is she here? I'm sure she sleeps with an emergency. I'll need to see some identification. Ma'am! Did you go to class? Is she here? I'll use it, Frank. I'll use it. No, all right, just calm down. Just calm down. I was taking Brandy to the school when she got sick, so I brought her back here. Her mom knows she's here. I, I just talked to her. Hey, if you don't believe me, call her. She's at work. Just come on over, pick up the phone, call her.
I'm okay. I'm fine. Can I take her? Mayfield confessed to Marilyn's murder. Yeah. Okay. Look, you couldn't save her, but you saved another little girl. Yeah, thank God she wasn't hurt. Thank God it's over. Okay. Lori, thank you. I'll always thank you. Always. Let's go 